Hi, my name is Kimran and I'm studying medicine at the Royal College of Surgeons and today my group and I will be discussing the physical phenomena behind a transient ischemic attack. As an introduction, transient ischemic attacks are temporary blockages of the arteries due to plaque that lead to brief loss of blood, ischemia, to regions such as the brain, spinal cord, and retina. These are commonly known as mini-strokes. Symptoms are identical to those of true strokes, such as contralateral paralysis, blurred vision, speech impediment, weakness throughout the body, severe headaches, and confusion. The major difference between TIAs and true strokes is that the blockages are transient, meaning temporary. Plaque buildup in the arteries associated with the brain, for example, is dissolved, leading to no infraction of the tissues. That being said, one in three patients that experience these transient attacks are eventually going to experience strokes. 50% of those occur within the following year. Moving on to the physical aspect behind a TIA. There are two important physical phenomena that are regularly applied in the human body circulatory system. The Bernoulli and the continuity principles are restatements of what are known as the law of conservation of mass and law of conservation of energy, whereby mass or energy can neither be created nor destroyed, simply converted. Because the circulatory system is a closed system and contains incompressible fluid, these two relationships are quite accurate in their respect. The Bernoulli principle. In essence, both velocity and pressure of a fluid accounts for the energy present. Bernoulli principle can be simplified from pressure plus rho g h plus one half rho times velocity squared equaling some constant to a pressure term and a velocity term. This relationship states that as a pressure increases within a fluid, the velocity decreases proportionally to maintain constant energy and vice versa. The continuity principle. Basically put, this law is applied on the basis that whatever goes in must come out. Of course, since the blood is contained within a closed vascularized system, no leakage or loss of mass will occur. Continuity principle deals with the cross-sectional area of the fluid containing blood vessel against velocity. The flow rate is the volume of blood passing a certain point in time which can be defined as the product of the cross-sectional area and the velocity of the fluid. This is thought to stay constant at either end of a passage. Q represents flow rate and is equal to the area times velocity, which is constant as seen on the diagram. Therefore, as cross-sectional area decreases, the velocity increases proportionally. A good example can be seen to be used by the body when reacting to stress or exercise. The constriction, which involves a decrease of cross-sectional area of the blood vessel, will increase the velocity, enhancing oxygen delivery. Similar to this, these physical theories can be applied to better our understanding on the cause of transient ischemic attacks. Moving on to the mechanism, as mentioned previously, TIAs are mini strokes which result in transient buildup of plaque of the blood vessels known as atherosclerosis. This commonly occurs in the significant arteries within the head region such as the external, internal, and right common carotid artery as well as either of the subclavian arteries. Atherosclerosis, which is caused by many reasons such as smoking, a high fat and cholesterol diet, people diagnosed with high blood pressure, age, gender, race, and high blood sugar content from diabetes, and in some cases, genetic. This buildup results in a narrowing of the artery, which essentially causes a decrease in pressure. Due to this decrease, blood flows from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure, thus reducing the efficient volume being delivered to the brain. Moving on to treatments, there are pharmaceutical drugs which include antiplatelets, aspirin, and anticoagulants, warfarin, which are used to prevent clotting from happening due to sticky blood cells. 
Surgeries involve endarterectomies of the carotid arteries, which is used to remove unwanted fatty deposits and clear the arteries of plaques. Angioplasty is also used and involves the installment of a stent to prevent plaque to keep building. Now, lifestyle changes are used for preventative factors and they include limiting sodium, cholesterol, and saturated fats from diet and also involve avoiding the use of drugs, smoking, or excess alcohol consumption. Most importantly, exercise regularly to significantly decrease the risk. Now, what to do if experienced? Transient ischemic attacks are often diagnosed as an emergency in regards to the process of becoming a stroke. Consult your physician as soon as the mentioned symptoms start to show. Be prepared to discuss your lifestyle habits such as smoking, medical history, family history, and the symptoms. Any more questions about the transient ischemic attacks, please do not hesitate to ask us in the link below. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful.